So today, all these yews, the bale is spread. I, there's still some in the ring feeders. You can see those yews are there. But I spread it out for them to eat. And they're gonna have a lovely time as it's gonna be easier to eat. Now to go let out the other flock and the horses, the shed flock and the horses. These guys are all gonna be happy till tomorrow. And tomorrow they'll get a new bale of hay. Okay, the orchard flock has been minded. You guys have had your breakfast. Now it's time to go up the hill into your field. Come on, girls. Come on. Woo! <laughs> Brindle, leave it. Come on, girls. Come on, a little bit. Hey, hey, leave it. Come on. Come on. Come on, Ebony. Come on. Come on, girls. You gotta go through the nasty bit to get to the good bit. Come on. Come on, Ebony. I'm following them going under this electric wire. It's easier to walk along here than it is through the muck. Mind you, the alpaca are walking through the muck. <clears throat> It's good to just have one area that's mucky and keep it limited to how much gets mucky. Hey, leave it, Brindle. There's a Sunday cycle. People calling out down along the road, chatting to each other as they cycle. You can see the yellow jerseys. The Sunday cyclers. Sometimes we have 50 or 60 cyclists pedaling past. Come on, little bit. Atta girls. There's still quite a bit of grass in here. So they're gonna have a lovely time. Heads down grazing. And I've got to close my very primitive gate. Very primitive gate. The gate over there not quite as primitive right there. At least it's got some timber. This is literally just a dead stake and the sheep wire. Isn't that right, Inca? Well, it serves its purpose and keeps the sheep where I want them. So, I'm cleaning out this water tank here. Water's kind of mucky at the bottom like this. It's sort of clean, but anyway, still, I'm cleaning up the yard here 
But in the water tank, I found this little fella. Very cold, very cold, very much still alive. So I'm gonna go and drop him or her down into our aquifer pond down in the lower field. It'll warm him or her up. They're very cold. Whoops! Oh, my hand is warming them up. Okay, I'm gonna leave you there for the time being and then I'm gonna bring you down to the pond because I don't wanna warm you up too much too quickly. Here's my frog that I saved from the horse's water tank. And I'm bringing it to, this is the aquifer. So it's a uh, very natural water, not water that comes from the mains. And often there's frog spawn right here. This year there isn't at the moment. So I'm gonna let this frog go here. There we go. There we go. That's much cleaner, better water for a frog. And it's gone and hiding under that ivy leaf. I'm very pleased with having rescued him or her. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Anyway, this is in a much better place than in the horse's water tank. Look at all that duckweed there. There's going to be lots of food for it and it'll be warmer than the horse's water tank. Come on, dogs. Let's go back to work. Come on. Come on, Java. Come on. Good dogs. Come on. I've got to attack all those brambles and chop them back because they'll catch sheep and could drown them. That happened to me one year. A sheep went to drink, got caught, fell into the water tank and got more and more caught and it ended up drowning overnight. So I've got to trim all those blackberries back a good bit. Very wet aquifer. And the sun is out. Yay! Hello, sun. You're very welcome. them be. Now I had planned to bring this bale up tomorrow as I have a crew of students visiting who are doing sustainability projects to show them about the hay but it's going to be pissing rain tomorrow by the looks of it. Excuse me I've got to let that bale down. So I may as well do the hay today in the dry for my sake and the sheep's sake. And I think they will appreciate it. They've done a good bit of damage on the hay that's here. There's still some in there, but um, 
I'm going to do this now. And that way, I don't have to do it in the rain tomorrow. Now, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look. And the sun is shining, which is so lovely. Oh, we've had lots of rain today. Spots of sun, but mostly rain. And now it's sunny. And it's so sad for the students that it looks like it's going to be miserably wet tomorrow. So sad. Anyway, I suppose that's farm life. You have to take it as the weather gives it to you. Oh, that job done. They're all crowding around that bit of hay now. Some of them are coming to this bale. There we go. She was a very late lamb and very runty never really well. So she's never really grown into herself. All the other lambs are about the right size that they should be at this age and stage. A little raggedy ass, raggedy Ann lamb. Well, they're all happy. Happy sheep, happy farmer. Isn't that right, ear feather? Yeah. And she pushes somebody out. 
Okay, I've got to go get, um, as the sun's going down and tomorrow's going to be a wicked day. I've got to go get the horses in and then the other flock because these guys are fine. Oh, I do feel sorry for the students tomorrow. It's such a beautiful evening. Even though it's so mucky, it's so beautiful. The trees reflected in the swampy wet of the field. So that's the swampy wet of the field. You can see the trees. It's beautiful. Those are the trees, not reflected. But yeah, we had a lot of rain today. A lot of rain. Very wet. So, um, and there's more rain tomorrow. So I'm gonna bring the horses in and the sheep. Slowly picking her way through the mud. That a girl. You good girl. Leave it, Java. Java, good boy, leave it. They've heard me. <laughs> They've heard I'm coming. The watch yo gave voice. She's coming to open the gate before the next storm comes. Sunset setting on the beach. Trees is lovely. Okay, ladies. I'm coming. Hey, ladies. I'm coming. Wait a sec. There you go. The race home to be the first to get to the food. Oh dear. Okay. She's gone lame. Java, Inca, leave it. You can see the sun setting over there. Java, a little bit, taking her time. Beautiful sunny evening after today's miseries.
Oh, God, it's so wet. Get the gate closed. <laughs> Bramble. Okay, go on. Go on. Go on. Come on, girls. Come on. Hey, you. Come on, girls. Come on. And oh, look, a carrot has fallen out of the food. Come on, girls. Come on. Dead time. Out of girls. Okay. Now, where's the O that needs treating? Where did she go? It's not you. Nope, it's not you. Where is she? I'm going to have to get the stuff and treat her. Huh. It wasn't you, was it? No, it wasn't you, you beautiful thing. Oh, there you are. There she is. Right there. That one. I'll go get the stuff and come back and treat her. Hopefully she'll be sound tomorrow. <laughs>